Okay, so today we're going to do an example problem using um, the char function, the num to string function, and some basic operators. So this is a two-part problem. In both parts, we'll be using uh, both the ideal gas law and uh, Van der Waals equation to find temperature. So we're given some basic data right here. Um, but we're told to make some changes to it. We're told that for part uh, A, we won't be using the pressure that they gave us right here. Instead, we'll be using five equally spaced pressures that go from 0 to 400 inclusive. And for part B, we'll, we, won't be, we will not be using the volume they gave us. And instead, we'll be using nine equally spaced volumes that go from 1 to 9. And in the end, our goal is to print for part A this table and for part B this table. So we had, uh, and we'll be using the char function and the num to string function to do that. Okay, so and and I'd already declared few variables here to save them to save some time because this long videos are really hard to upload and they take forever. Okay, so for part A, I've already um, typed in the equation. So the ideal gas law is PB equals NRT pressure times volume equals number of moles times the R constant times the temperature. So when you solve for T, um, you get um, PV over NR, and this is right here. So for part A, we're, we're told to use five different pressures, and that I've declared right here. Notice that it's a column vector. Uh, you have to keep in mind those little things like whether or not it's a column vector or a row vector. I mean, it's a quick fix if you mess up along the way. It just takes one second as soon as you know what you did wrong. So it goes from 0 to 400, 0, 100, 200, 300, and 400. That's five equally spaced um, pressures. So if I run this, we should get the um, this. And if I run this, we should get... Um, temperature we get from vendor walls okay so I'm gonna run this part first and then I'm going to run this part next okay so okay um, we should get for part for t uh, TI we should get these values and for TW we should get these values so we get zero. This is times ten to the third power. So move everything over by three decimal places, um, and then so you get six hundred and one, twelve thousand and two, eighteen oh four, and twenty four oh five. Okay, and then for TW you get you all again moving up everything by three decimal places. You get one hundred twenty five, six eighty nine, um, one thousand two hundred fifty four, one thousand eight hundred and nineteen, and then. 2383 so the values are consistent so um, we can jump on to printing it I didn't I already t I typed them up because I did not want I'm assuming they can type all of these um, variables into um, into MATLAB so I don't want to waste time with that instead I want to use the talk more about the char function because that's something that you might not know already so for this part for this table we want to print this line first and then we want to print this line after that so we have we want to print s1 first and then we want to print s3 in the line afterwards so we're t telling char to print s1 go to the next line by hitting comma right there and telling or the at, at least that's how you want to think about it um, and then print the next line so print s3 and then go to the next line and then we're going to print our table so we're going to put everything into a string s4 so and then this is basically our table so inside we're going to print the first thing we want is the pressure um, if you look here the first column is pressure the second is temperature using ideal gas law, and the third is temperature using Van der Waals. So we're going to say num to string. Then we're going to say, okay, so print pressure PC. This is the pressure we want to print. And then what you're going to do, we're told 
that we're using we're going up to two decimal places afterwards so what you're gonna say you're gonna say 12 I, I like to use 12 point something because it's something I use a lot you don't you could use any other number here if you want I think it goes up to 16 or so you can use 16 I've seen 16 18 before I don't think I see anything else uh, higher than that but um, so you do 12.2 the number that this is what really matters the number of decimal places you want to print so you put it since we want to print two decimal places we put it two there and then we want to print num to string we want to print the temperature using the ideal gas so we want to print ti next so you're gonna say num to string ti turn this matrix of numbers into string that's what it's saying right here that's why I use num to string and then you'd say once again percent 12.2 oh I don't know why I put a percent there that should be in an F you put an F here for to tell MATLAB the format that's the correct format to use in MATLAB so then again you do num to string and now this time you want to print, print T uh, B W, which is we call it T D B B W here too. So T B W, and then we're going to do once again percent twelve point two F. And so what this does is says okay, turn this uh, matrix into a string, um, and then make sure that once you once you're turning into a string, it has two decimal places. So you didn't have to do this. You could have just used the lean space function. Um, I think I've said it somewhere here. Yeah, you could just use the lean space function, and then uh, use get the phi equally spaced numbers, and then here you could be you could tell it to make it go up to two decimal places, and that would be completely fine. Um, that's probably the better way of doing it, an easier way of doing it, I would say. Um, so then you have num so basically num to string. Take this uh, matrix turn it into a string and then cut every number off after two decimal places that's all it says so now if we print this we should get the table we wanted um, okay so it's not quite what we wanted we wanted there to be some spaces in between and that's a quick fix for that um, what we'll do is we'll say okay so you're going to use the function called repmat um, what it says is repeat matrix um, and that's a helpful function to add spaces in between your um, between your columns when you're using the char function when we use the fnf function you don't need that which is amazing um, so now it should fix it so I'm going to uh, print it and then I'm going to show you what I just did um, okay so so you can clearly see that now there are spaces um, here that weren't there before um, so what this function does is it says you take whatever's in this inside here and you make it into a 5 by 1 um, since we want 1 2 3 4 5 by 1 matrix it goes down by five so it says okay take this and make it into a five by one matrix so it just takes this space of uh, the string and then puts it here into a five by one matrix and here into a five by one matrix it's a really helpful um, tool I mean a, a function it's not a tool it's a function um, that makes your life much easier um, I just I copied and pasted this right here. Then I used a dot function for part B. For part B, we're using the same um, two functions: ideal gas law and the Van der Waals equation. But this time, instead of using different pressures, we're going to use this constant pressure, and we're going to change our volumes. So we have nine equally spaced volumes that go from one through nine. Um, and then you have the same functions, you same equations you had here, except I call, now I call it TI2 for part B, and then TVW2 for also for part B. This two signifies it's for part two of the problem. Um, and now that we're dealing with matrices that in what when you have to um, you're raising a matrix to a power, so now you have to involve the dot operator. 
And a no-brainer thing to do would be just to just put a dot everywhere in front of um, multiplication, division, and the power sign. Um, that's the easiest way of doing it. It saves you a lot of time on it if you're taking an exam or just being lazy. Um, so I'm going to run this real quick to compare our answers. I don't want to make this video too long, so we'll have to do this real quick. Okay, so for this part, I'm just going to compare the first couple. Oh, so now we're going moving everything up by four decimal places. So the first two are correct, so I'm going to assume everything else is correct, like it should be. Um, and then for this part, TBW2, we should get this um, 1367, 26, there. okay, yeah, so they're right. So I'm not going to compare the rest, because if you compare two, that's plenty. Um, now we're going to do the same thing. We're, just, we're going to say char. Now we want to print this line and then we want to print this line so you have you want to print s2 and then print s3 so you're telling MATLAB to print s2 go to the next line print s3 go to the next line and then you want to print say s5 we're going to call it our last string s5 so s5 should be the same thing as this one except we're going to make a few changes copy paste um, use copy and paste a lot on an exam to copy and paste functions that use over and over for no reason um, anyways this time we want to print the first thing we want to print is the volume and then the temperature using the ideal gas law and then the temperature using the um, the van der Waals equation so you have BC because that's what we call our variable for volume BC then we have we're going to change this to TI2 because that's what we called our temperature for part 2 TI2 and then we called our temperature for for van der Waals for part 2 TVW2 so we're going to change that let's see what else okay so here we use two decimal places we're using three decimal places here so I'll turn these twos, point twos into point threes. So 12.2, I mean 12.3, 12.3, and then 12.3. Percent 12.3, yeah. Now, what else? Rep mat, um, 5 by 1. Okay, now now it's a 9 by 1 matrix. If you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1. So we're going to change these fives into nines. So we want it to be a 9 by 1 matrix this time instead of a 5 by 1 matrix. I really hope I'm making sense because I had to try and do these problems under 15 minutes or else it takes forever. Um, I'm going to run this real quick and then we'll see if we get the table. I think that's right, hopefully. Um, and yes, that is the table we wanted. Um, so. When you when you say num to string here, um, you're saying turn this uh, matrix into a string that uh, has uh, and all of its numbers should not go past three decimal places, and then you're adding this uh, rep map which is repeat matrix function which says add these empty spaces because it's in a string right here between these two, and then this uh, s five is it by itself is a is a type um, char so that's basically saying string um, and then char you're saying in, inside char you're saying when you use the char function you when you say char s2 s3 s5 you're saying print s2 first then go to the next line print s3 go to the next line and print s5 since s5 is this table it will print this um, in this order right here but note this is only because I made this a column vector if I made this a row vector in the beginning this would be a completely different story. It would be a mess, I think. Yeah, it would not even let you run it. So, so it, um, because it would not be con, yeah, because you it would not be consist consistent. But so you just have to make sure that if you if you're working with um, rows, you stay in rows. If you're working with columns, you stay with columns. I personally like working with columns because they're much um, easier to work with. But it's personal preference. 
Alright, thank you for watching. See you next time.